Welcome back to Exfoli, Excited Fillers. And today we're going to do the project Image Resizing. So this is the project we are going to do. And I'm going directly, I'm going directly to the project because there's a um, there's difference between what they showed in the video and what they give in the start project. So I'm doing what they did when you press start project. They only give the image and these all um, labels and everything. So I'm going to continue that by doing the block session only because the design part is done um, already done by the um, the whitehead junior so now we just need to do a block section when you press start project so this is what i'm going to do okay now let's go to the blocks section because this is already the design part let's go to the blocks okay now i'll tell you what's in the blocks when ht button that means hide button click when the button click Set image height to text inputs text. So image height, image one, this is this image. Height should be what was there in this label. Um, that is um, text input and in the text input, that is text input one. So um, we are like interlinking it by keeping whatever the image height, it will be the text input one's text. So um, and te um, image one's width will be text input two's text. So um, this is the place where the height should be entered. So that's why this will um, reduce or increase the height of this image in percentage and even in the width in percentage. So this is the block. Now if uh, whatever the text comes in text input should be the height. So that's why you should do this. Um, this block like when a height but um, HD button click do set image once height to text inputs text and set image ones width to text input to text so that is what we need to do in the value set oh sorry okay um, it just clicked and something went so sorry so okay, okay. so we are done by the value set um by um, i like this is how you should do because we're interlinking it that image height should be the same as text inputs one text and image width should be text input two text so now let's go to the slider set this is where the um, user will change the slider and increase or decrease the height okay blocks when um, HD slider that means the height slider on value change that means when the value change value set image two's height to value so this is image two and this is the um, slider one so whatever um, when this slider will change this height should also um, change according to the slider so we are keeping value and value like the value is the variable and we are adding the variable to the height so now this is also like another way for interlinking like how we um, how we did for this text inputs text um, and image height it's like that only value for this image to height to value so image to height will be the value that comes from the slider okay now um, wdt means the width Okay, so width on value change value set image two's width to value. So now the width will be um, the width slider will be um, inter interlinked with the image two's width. So the value and value is the variable, and this um, this variable we are defining it as the slider's um, slider is this value, and we are interlinking it with the image two's width. So this is what we need to do, and it was a little easy um, this was an easy project because we didn't need to do the design part only we needed to do the blocks and it was it could be very easy now i'll do the light test first i'll do the sliders one and again i'll go to the value okay oh the t is missing okay see the height is increasing of the image as you can see see this is the top height and I'll increase the width see it's increasing yes okay now let's go 
to the value set. That means where you should type instead of doing the slider. Let's do 50% so you can understand. It will be half of it. 50, 50. Set, set. Okay, 50% I kept its height and 50% its width. So see, it became a little, sh it shrinked in size. Now let's keep 10. 10. Set. See that? It became very small. So you could do like this. This is for typing and that's for slider change so this is the just this is the project if, if you liked it and if you feel it easy then like share and subscribe and please watch uh, watch uh, our upcoming videos so you can even get your other projects okay so bye and i thank you a lot for giving us almost 300 subscribers so thank you bye